what's going on guys uh, I hope everybody is doing great in this video I'm gonna be modifying my tail lights on my infinity G37 um, I'll be installing some halos I picked up from diode dynamics I got a pair of 90 millimeters which is in this box here and a pair of 110 millimeters here and because it's the brake lights of course it will be in red I'm also going to be painting the interior housing in glass black so I'm gonna show you this step by step so stick with me so like I said it's an infinity G37 sedan so I'm gonna be taking this out and this out so first thing you gotta do of course is you gotta pop the trunk open remove these two clips here one and two after you remove them you peel the carpet back so I've already done this side two clips have been removed one and two then just peel the carpet back when you get inside here the lights are held in by three bolts eight millimeter bolts one here one here and this one here this little thing just pull it off all right so I wasn't going to show you that struggle so yeah pull it off and it's used to hold the cabling here so once you pull it off it's one two three that little red clip is just for alignment purposes and of course you're gonna pull this out there's a little thing here that you press there you go just press this little clip here if we can focus press this little clip here there you go press this clip here and pull it out all right all right so the bolts are removed now it's all about just peeling this piece off i'm trying to do it with one hand here and voila there you go simple as that so i'm gonna do this side now like i said peel the clips off one two move this out of the way your car might not have it it's fine it's your uh, g37 i guess manual or whatever it is peel this back and pull the carpet out I had some tailors turn, you won't see this in yours, just pay attention to the first part of the video. Second light is off. Uh, I'm gonna take the time to do some cleaning there. All that dirt. So good thing that this is being done. Alright, so now that you got your workbench set up, the light is up. We're gonna take off this piece first right here this piece right here. It's held in by two screws right there and here and this little piece is just a it's welded on to the plastic so you're going to jiggle that piece off. So you want to do the screws, take them out and jiggle this piece off. There you go. It's going to snap off but there's nothing you can do about that. Right, see, this is how it is. Um, when I'm putting it back on, I'm probably going to use a little bit of glue there, and that, that will be fine. Next up, we're going to take this black piece off. if yours is as filthy as mine I would say clean that up before you open the lights so I'm gonna be pausing the video as soon as I'm done with this and I am going to clean it up
and we're done. So after you slowly fry this piece off, uh, this piece you can see right here, it has you no know, black, it, it's just held on by this red piece here. The others, they look like this. So don't think that you're ripping it off. This is how it looks, all right? And this is an adhesive, which I'm gonna be putting some new adhesive on so it sticks and seals in. This next, there is three more screws to remove. One, two, and three right here. So let's undo these real quick. sure you're keeping a track of these screws okay these are the first two that I removed and then these three are the exterior ones right on here. all right guys on to the fun part you're gonna need a rotary device you need some diamond saw or a diamond saw um I should I say a diamond encrusted wheel has some diamond bits in there should make the, the, the cutting process a lot quicker and easier uh, you can buy this at your local department store if you want there they go for like 30 bucks for one um, you know what don't quote me on that but it's around a $30 range all I know you're not getting all of these at the department store for 30 bucks I paid $10 for these on Amazon they came overnight all right, let's let that plane fly over. Thank you. Now that that noise has subsided, so we're gonna to need to cut this open, all right? So you're gonna go along here, right here, slowly. All right, with the German, or should I say rotary tool. setting works best. So I started off with the the, the smallest um, rotary wheel that I got, saw that I got, circular saw that I got. Um, so it's becoming a problem here, resting, you know, putting in here, cutting in, 
it's becoming a problem. So I'm gonna start from one go around here and just work this way around and then maybe when I get around this side I'm gonna swap the bit out for one of the larger bits. So after um, you've done working the tool around um, you're gonna you may have to go over it or some areas more than once and once you're done if you follow everything that I've showed you so far this piece should just lift off like this and there's your lights all right so now that you got the light off the red piece the other piece off you need to take this chrome piece out and to do that I'm going to try to figure it out together all right so it's out it was just held in by some clips these clips all right So you want to remove all of this so that this piece will come out, all right? So there are some screws. I see one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Simply enough. Once you're done removing the screws, this piece should just come off. This is what we're getting rid of. Now that the uh, circuit circuitry is off, this piece right here is held in by some clips. One, I see two. Same thing over this side. One, two. And this looks like a little plastic well that's going to break off. You can't do anything about that, honestly. And now they're finally out. Alright, so it's time, it's time to get these primed and sprayed. So I bought these primer and uh, gloss black. So you don't want to do light, even coats. Now that we're through, priming it, we're going to now be spraying it in glass black. So now that we got our hosings painted, so first it was primed, then I put a uh, gloss black on it, all right? Then there are the halos right here. We're doing one line at a time, of course. Um, so diode dynamics, when you buy a set of 90 and 110 millimeter, they're going to give you two drivers, one per light. I don't think I need two drivers for one side, so I use one. Um, I tested it out, of course. It works. I'm going to show you all the wiring in a second, but it works. All right. Now, we got this right here. Make sure you can see it. 
So di diode dynamics, this is what they give you. So now we know how the wiring lines up. We're going to start fishing these through the light. All right. So I tried fishing this through one of these holes here. And it's still too big. So I'm going to use my rotary tool again. And I'm going to just widen the space there. So when you buy the set of halos from Diode Dynamics, they're going to send you two drivers for each halo. I'm only going to be using one. I tested it and it works uh, with the one. So one powering both halos. You want to use the two of yours, it's fine. I'm only going to be using one. The other one is not needed. Um, so I've already clipped. This end, this is what it will look like. I've already clipped this end, took this piece off, and I'm gonna be tying these together. I made a mistake um, with my lights, a tiny mistake. So I sprayed these, then tried to fit these through the little hole there, thinking that they would fit. They don't fit. You have to drill a hole. So before you do that, before you spray the lights, Fit these through, use a rotor to make the incision, the incision a little bit larger, that, or the holes a little larger than they are, uh, for whatever, wherever you're going to fit it through. For me, I fit, I put my holes at the bottom here, or I made these holes a little bigger, that one, and this one there. So, this one here, and this one there. Um, fit it through, then when you're done fitting it, then you clean it up, then you spray it, leave it to dry. Now for the fun part, put in the halos on the housing. I have some um, wire here. Um, these, this is picture hanging wire. I got a, found a real tin um, one, so I purchased it. And on these halos, you get some tiny, tiny holes. You get three of them. So I'm going to be using this to hold it onto this. You can also use a fishing line. Just make sure that the fishing line can fit through here, or you may have to use a fishing line and put it over it like this. But I'm not doing that method. I'm doing the uh, picture hanging wire, running it through these little holes here. All right, so after you got the uh, halos wired up and you use the uh, picture hanger wire and closer so you can see it here and over here and here and here and you uh, connect these two together yellow to yellow black to black we're then going to fish it through the uh, back of the housing all right so after you fished it through the housing you want to go ahead Put the back on, of course, and screw it up with these three screws. One, two, and three right here. Okay. It's now time to secure the uh, glass front on to this. I bought some JB Weld Clear Weld Quick Setting Epoxy, um, and it dries clear. All right. Very important that it dries clear. So this light is all sealed up using the uh, JB Weld epoxy. There you go. So I put some on the out on the inside, then I clamped it using my uh, bag over there. I didn't have clamps. Then um, when it dried, I gave it five ten minutes for it to dry a little bit. Then I work around the edges on the outside just to give it a good seal. And this is what it will look like when it's all done. Alright, 
so let's summarize real quick so after you glue the housing back on to the light you're gonna put this rubber piece back on and I did use some JB weld uh, epoxy to glue, glue around it I just put some dots around it and of course here are your connections that came out of the light and like I said I'm only going to be using one controller alright so black and yellow black and yellow alright black and yellow black and yellow alright so I went ahead and I taped everything down and of course it goes to the controller out to the controller remember we went through this earlier in the video how we got this to be connected all right so remember that so I made it I uh, went ahead and cleaned it up so I taped it up so it looks really nice and neat now all right so something I got to talk about real quick um, so I had these a while back these are Taylor's turn what that does is it eliminates the halogen bulb and use the LED lights to flash um, how can I explain it so the two circular LEDs on the, the whole setup that I had or that everyone has that comes with infinity um, instead of the halogen blinking in the middle the LEDs the circular LEDs will flash this is what this does it, elim it el eliminates the halogen bulb and I originally when I was testing these the LEDs that I need to install, the uh, halos that I installed, I got hyper flash. And no, it wasn't because I was only using one of these because I was only testing one LED at a time and I realized I got hyper flash when it started blinking. So I ended up still using these. So you're going to have to get this. If you get it to work without it, great. But in my instance, I had to get this. Well, I had it before. It's uh, it's called Taylor's Turn, and um, it's about 50 bucks. You can pick one up for about 50 bucks. So this is the finished product right here. That's the brake light. Release the brake. Press the brake again. Left indicator. Right indicator. Hazard light. Hazard lights off. Turn off the lights, press the brake, and you're done.